Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. As you know, Java Completable Future is an interesting mechanism for writing asynchronous and non-blocking code. In previous tutorial, we already explored how to create completable future, how to transform them and combine multiple completable future instances with example. Right? Now, let's take it a step further and understand how to handle exceptions effectively or what should you do when something goes wrong in your asynchronous flow. So in this tutorial, we'll explore the in and out of handling exceptions in completable future, providing insights and real world example. Okay, all right. So without any further delay, let's get started. So before we moving forward, I am assuming you already gone through my completable future part 1, part 2 and part 3 video. If not, I would strongly suggest you to go through those videos, then come back to this exception handling use case. Okay. So I will also share the link in video description for your reference. Now let me open my IntelliJ. So before we directly implement the logic, first let's understand how the errors are propagated in callback chain. Consider this is the completable feature callback chain. Now think practically if my completable feature dot supply async this first statement will throw some exception will my next then apply method will execute? No, right? The flow will be break here and the error will be propagated across all the chain. Or think in other way, let's say there is no error in the first block then there is a error on the first then apply will my other chains will work no the flow will be terminate here itself okay that is what we don't want i don't want to terminate the entire flow rather what we can do the flow which is having issue we can handle the exception there itself so that other chain then apply and then accept can work without having any issue okay so how we can design that so don't worry, for that completable feature itself offers two or three methods. Using that, you can happily handle the exception scenario in completable future. Okay, so let me walk you through the example. Let me comment this for now. Let's consider a huge case. I want to perform two tasks. The first task will update the employee record in the database. And the second task will update employee image kind of thing employee document you can note it employee document to s3 any binary storage okay so since this is just a demo i'm not going to connect to s3 rather i just want to just print a sysout statement so let's consider these two use case so it's very simple right all the employee information like the address employee personal info everything i will keep in my dv only the binary content like the salary slip or image any any document specific related i want to keep in the s3 bucket fine so these are the two different tasks i want to execute concurrently using completable feature and at the end i just want to combine the status to check whether the process is getting completed or not okay both are independent tasks if updating in the dv get failed i no need to care I can still process with the updating the binary content to the uh, S3. Okay. So that is how I, I am trying to convince the use case. So fine. Now what I can do, I will just use completable feature dot supply async. Just return some statement saying that record update in the DV or something like that. So define the variable. So just rename it to employee data future. Fine. Let me copy the same. I'll just name it document future, employee document future or something like that. Then I'll just change here employee profile or I can just change it to document. 
let me format it so we created these two different future right now let's combine these two future to just add some statement so what i can do i'll just say employee completable future employee data future dot then combine combine with what the other future which is employee document future then what will the result you will find let's say result 1 for this future and result 2 for this particular future now i'll just print both of them okay so result 1 just add a new line then just print the result sys out dot get so throw the exception to the method signature you can handle it but we don't want to handle it through try catch let's handle it here only okay i will come to that point now this is the simple code right let me run this we will see the output then gracefully we will throw the error or we will shut down one of the flow then we will validate how to handle it so go through the code once it's just a simple code nothing we are doing there is no rocket science right now let me run it so you can see here employee information update in dv and employee document update in s3 both the task is executed right now what we can do let me forcefully throw the error in the first task okay so i have defined a method who will just throw the runtime exception and i am just printing some message that's it so i'll use the same method to throw the error so i'll just define in the first one gracefully shut down give the api name to just print the error that's it okay so let it be employee service now the first flow will give you the error then will my second flow will work if it will not work then i cannot combine right let's see let me run it can you see the error we got the exception not a single task is executed here right you can see the message employees are being temporarily unavailable please try again later so this is because the first flow itself failed so it is not allowing you to execute further now i need to handle the exception what i can do i can do try and i can do the catch right by defining some exception here but that is not recommended if you are using completable future completable future has its own utility to handle the exception mechanism so what you can do here only you can mention dot exceptionally you have the exception object with you then just print some messages to just identify the flow where it failed print some valid messages or log some valid messages saying that employee information i'll copy this unable to update and also return some messages here now see here how simple is this if this flow is getting failed or if this flow having some issue then i am handling the exception here itself saying that okay while accessing this there is a error with these messages and this is the return value now let's run this and we'll see the magic can you see here now it is not blocking any of my chain or it, it's not blocking blocking the entire flow what it does the first flow having the error we print the error message but still my second flow is working this will be suitable to handle the exception if the tasks are independent okay so here still i am able to update the document in s3 now you can do the same thing for this other flow okay you can individually do for each and every flow just update the messages here unable to update employee document so 
let me forcefully throw the error here as well now what will be the result you will find my both the flow is having some issue there is some error none of the flow will work now here if i have another flow let's say flow 3 or you can name it callback chain anything is fine flow 4 like that if i have any other flow even though these two flow or callback chain is getting failed still these two will work that is what we just validated now right now let me run it and we'll see the output can you see here you can add the meaningful log statement it's just the demo i have added some random messages fine now this is what you can handle the exception in chain or callback chain itself but what if you don't want to handle it individually rather you want to handle in global so what you can do let me comment this for now i don't want to add the log mechanism not log exception handling mechanism in each and every flow rather i want to handle it globally if any flow failed i'll just print that statement okay saying that this particular callback chain is having some issue so that you can fix it and you can run it so that is what the global exception handling in completable future to handle the exception globally in completable future there is a straightforward method you can use all all these two future will have this combined feature right result of your both future employee document future and employee data future will be mapped to this combined future so here you can do here you can handle very simple step dot handle it will accept by consumer so what you can do you can provide first one will be the result from your future and second one will be your exception just write the lambda now return something here you can say operation failed okay some messages now here you can check if exception not equal to null if there is a exception then print the messages some some meaningful messages you can write an error occurred during employee data processing something like that then just print the messages exact message simple right so what you can do if there is no exception just return the result and inside the e block if there is an exception just return another result operation failed or whatever you want to return okay so we are good here now just observe there are two method handle and exceptionally for individual exception handling specific to the callback chain you can use this but if you want to handle it globally without care about what flow got failed if you want to handle it globally then you can use the handle and there is also a method dot then complete there is also you can do the same thing fine now let me comment from one flow let's run it now we don't have the individual exception handling scenario rather we are just doing it okay let me add a note now let me run it can you see the messages an error occurred during processing employee data what is the error employee service temporarily unavailable please try again later and the return statement you are returning from your global handler okay this way it won't handle individual flow rather globally it will give you the message saying that okay this flow is having issue fix it and then run it that that is your job fine so this is how you can play with exception handling in completable future so just give a try with some different scenario and then do let me know in a comment section if you have any doubt that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept